Whoa. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Got him. Big, 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 good fish. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. Coming in hot. Ooh, what's up nerds? It is cold outside. It is currently snowing, so that's a good sign. If anything, it's a good sign. And uh, I got a day box. I'm gonna go join Paul at the ramp. We are fishing jerk baits, tail spins, blade baits, spy baits, maybe flat sides. We don't know. We've got the smorgasbord right now of possibly good winter techniques. Join us on the water. Let's see if this stuff works. Let's go. And we're there. <laughs> you guys, I, uh, <laughs> Paul's gonna yell at me when he gets here. Um, we were talking about where to go fishing this week and I was like, oh yeah, let's check out this lake. He's like, well, we've been there before and it wasn't good. And I was like, nah, we've never been here. I promise you we've never been here. <laughs> we argued about it for a few minutes and then I just pulled up and we've been here before. Like <laughs> I remember vividly now. I couldn't picture it at the time, but now I know, uh, whatever. You know what? It's cold out. We're gonna have tough luck no matter where we go. You might as well send it wherever you are. So we're here. We're sending it here. I don't care what happens. Here he comes. How much you want to bet he yells at me as soon as he pulls in? What do you guys think? Now you remember this one? <laughs> no, no, no. We've never no, been no, there. No, 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 no. Never, no, never, no, heard, no, of no. never heard of her. <laughs> oh my god. I, I believe I said I'm 99% <laughs> sure we've never yeah. been to this lake. Yeah. 99. You guys want to know how bad this is gonna be? So Check this out. Look at the shoreline here. How much fun are you having yet? Look at this. Look at this. You yeah. guys, we've been here two hours and we haven't fished yet. We're taking <laughs> we're taking a quick warm-up break uh, and then we're gonna go hit the water. I tried to start my truck with my thumbs, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Waiting for Paul here for a minute. Let's see where he wants to go. We're gonna start out with some blade baits. I got my jerk bait ready. Nice clear water lake, so I want that translucent Berkeley stunna. And then we got a flat side and we got a tailspin. All right. Probably just gonna start with the tailspin. Might as well, it's pretty windy out. Got clear water, so I went for a natural color. Oh my God, that thing bombs. <laughs> Paul's like, it's so cold. Oh, it's terrible out here, you guys. Water temp 32. Um, it's not a good sign, it's not what you want. All right, we're gonna do some moving here. Do you wanna fish that? Do you want to fish it? Okay. Jeff's like, we saw a thousand fish. Do you want to catch any of those? No, no. That way instead. There's probably more, There's probably more over there in this lake that we know is barren. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that's a good sign. All right. Fine, Jeff. I'll allow it. All right, you guys. I will say this for Jeff. One of the things you want to look for in these cold water situations, and really in a lot of situations just in general, if you are seeing, if you are seeing bait fish, that is a sure sign that a lot of times they're gonna be bass nearby. So, Jeff saw a big cloud of fish, which I could see right in front of me over here. That would be a good time to creep something along the bottom which is what I'm gonna do with this blade bait. My God, oh my God. It's hard to believe it's ever gonna be warm. So I'm seeing a fish on the bottom, I'm like, and pretty, it's pretty obvious. Dude, I don't even have the patience when I know the fish are there. This sucks. Oh, my hand is so cold. Such a wimp. Oh, yeah. I made it, I lost Paul halfway. I've been seeing marks. 30, 35 feet, but it's, I mean, honestly, it's gonna be like trying to find a needle on a haystack. Kind of rather get to a position where I can kind of like anchor up or something, you know? My guides are totally frozen already. Trying to get to this drop off, fish this area. This is deeper water. 
as long as I'm seeing marks. There we go. All right, so here's the drop off. So we're gonna go from 30 feet, probably to like five feet pretty quick. Just gonna slow roll. It looks like there's definitely stuff on the bottom here. If you got that bottom bite, it's where that blade bait popped on the bottom. It'd be really nice. Definitely got some looks, some looky lose, but no, no commitment. Got him. Big, 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 good fish. Good fish. Good fish. He's giving this medium a run for the money, dude. Got him. Come on. Come on. There he is. Smalley. Oh, yeah. Woo. Dude, the bait came out as soon as he hit the net. Oh, my God. The bait came out. Holy cow. All right, hang on. There's so much going on right now. Let me get this bait out of here. Paid off. Freaking paid off! Woo! Look at this, you guys. We got a smallmouth, and it ain't a little guy. That is a good smallmouth. Toothy! Woo! Oh, yes. Yes! We're gonna get it right back. So that was right off that bottom, just hopping this blade bait. There we go. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Let's get her back. Come on, buddy. You're good. Yeah. Oh, to the depths. To the depths. Woo! So what did it feel like to catch fish? So like knowing there's a fish nearby is not the same as catching a fish that's nearby, apparently. There's a fish right in front of, like, you're going right over it. He's sunk to the bottom. What is he going to do? Come on. Dude, I just blew up my reel. Just trying to break the ice on this fudging. Oh, Lord. That is so brutal. And somehow... Oh, got something. Is that a fish? Oh, I did it. No, I lost him. No. What in the heck in fudge and fart? What a horrible series of events. Oh, that's horrible. Well, I just had a fish. <laughs> wow, it just exploded my reel. Oh, my Lord. Because my guides were iced up and I was trying to drop the line. And uh, while I was fixing this explosion, I got a bite. Thought I was hooked on something. Not hooked. Started fishing away. Swimming away. And then I lost the fish. What the heck? What the fart? Oh, how does this happen? Every time I think I have it, I have nothing. I just blew up this reel. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? No. This is, might be one of the worst ones I've ever had in my life. Oh, did I do it? I did it. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Golly, that took like five freaking minutes. Oh, numb fingers. That's, oh, that was the most horrific backlash. So many layers to that thing. Non-ending. Yeah, that front guide is fully iced. Oh, no, they all are. Probably not the best place for this crankbait back here. Oh my god, completely frozen up. All the way down. All the way down, frozen up. So so good, it was a stick. I'm gonna jog across to the other lake real quick. See what I can do. I'm just gonna go look. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I don't think I can get under there. I don't even think I can clear it either way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Coming in hot! Ugh. Oh my gosh! All right, well, I'll just do this. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! I almost got concussed. Concussion is real. <laughs> All right, this kind of sucks. Kind of a current carrying me. So the way back is gonna be pretty tough. 
Oh my God. Well, that was interesting to say the least. He's the star of the day so far. Why am I getting no image on sonar? Oh, cause it's just so shallow. Well, that was an adventure. Just remember kids, adventure is out there. I get through a stupid eddy. There we go. We're good. <sighs> My head is so far over. Well, that was a bundle of joy. Who wouldn't want to do that? All right, well. No, shut up. We're doing this in the truck. This is okay. so dumb. Good idea. I don't have a face. I can't feel anything. Ugh. All right, well that sucked. That was uh, really cold, really windy. You guys saw the ice on the shore. You know how cold it is. Water temps, highest temp I saw today was 37.25 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. So you know it was awful. And all the fish we saw were off the drop-offs. This is a big bowl, this lake. And off that drop off, which was pretty steep, down to about 25 feet. That was it. That was that, a magic number. Yep. And they were not like below that, but oh. we were finding sparse cover and dialing in. So I will say what I learned today was dialing in that sonar. And by using that forward facing sonar, I was able to find that small mouth. Once I saw him, I was able to get my bait in front of him. And after changing up a few tactics, cause I never really used blade baits that was new to me. I was trying to figure out, you know, just general movement. I was using the tiny one on my spinning setup and that did the trick, barely hooked him. It popped out of his mouth as soon as he hit my net. So I luckily got that fish, but gosh dang, sonar for the win today in tough conditions. The, o yeah, the only fish that I hooked into, caught, whatever, uh, was on the, I guess the lesson I took away was be slow because I was yeah. fixing a backlash and that was like totally slack line for like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. That was the only bite that I got. Mega so pause. I was working way too fast. So that, that was one thing. The other, Jeff talked about the sonar. The boats were moving a ton because the wind was crazy. It was really hard to pick out those little tiny blade Spots. baits, yeah. even because you're in like 25 to 45 feet of water. Mm -hmm. So I switched off from the copper, the standard color that it comes with, switched over to the moss green and I was able to see it a little bit better. And then in the really deep water, I switched on that like, it's like tracing or trailing is what it's called. Okay. When you flip that on, every time you move your bait, if it senses a movement, it's gonna make like a little trail. And so even if you couldn't see like the dot where your lure was, you could see the trail moving and you knew roughly where you were. That made things a lot more clear on sonar. Again, I know not everyone has sonar, but like if you've got it, you really should take the time to learn it. And that was one thing that, you know, I took that away and I will take that away in the future for like deep drop shotting and stuff like that yeah. in like deeper water. So, um, I don't know. It was it, tough, tough, cold, cold, 37 degree water. It was, I'm I mean, glad we went, yeah. but it was not fun. It was not easy. It was not easy. It's that painful kind of fishing where you <laughs> yeah. got to have perseverance and yep. endurance to handle deep it. down deep. So the best we can say for you guys is like this type of fishing, if you're dealing with this right now and you're like, should I go out? Should I not go out? I think you should. Yes. I think putting the time on the water puts you in the position where you're going to get better as an angler. So as aggressively average anglers, that's something that we all need to do more of. So get out there, give it a shot. Understand though, it's going to be really, really hard and you're going to have to be more patient than you've ever been in your life. You're going to be a student and you're going to be a safe student. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Love it. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Later, nerds.